bring out the truth of the Bible and you compare to the things that are going on today, it should make you grasp to it more and gravitate onto it more. And then to understand that this is your God, good night. What more has to be said? How much more blood shed? How many more, how much more diseases, man? The Lord is trying to protect you. Give him a reason to protect you, man. And he's going to do his fatherly duty and pursue you and show you Exodus 15.3. School Universal Practical Knowledge coming out of One West, 125th Street out of Harlem, New York. We come out here and we are not affiliated with any other with, with, with any other Hebrew Israelite group in the world. The ISUBK stands alone. We are here to teach every black, Latino, and every American Indian who they are in the Bible. According to the Bible, black man and Latino man, you are the chosen children of God. I know you never heard that. And I know you never heard that in America. They told you nothing but a nigga and a spick. But nah, you are a you are you are God's chosen children in America, man. Today we want today we want, we want to get into coronavirus and the protection and how to be protected from it and all the other and all the other plagues and all the, all, all the other diseases that will go on in America, man. Right now, look 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 at look at just look at Chinatown right now. You it's it's Saturday night. You just way more full than this. But uh, but the corona, God got a, got the white man scared. God got America scared, man. And guess what? They so deserve it for the crimes they have committed against the Negroes and the crime they have committed against the Latinos. You de you deserve vengeance, man. Good. You out here getting sick? You you lo you losing your NBA? You losing your you you losing the uh, MLB? And your stock market your stock market is crashing twice in one day? Good. It's good. You deserve it. America's gonna fall just like Rome. And black man, you should be happy, man. Right now, we live in a Negro heaven. We live in a nigga heaven, man. My brother's at home for seven to 14 days of getting paid, man. It, this, this seems like a, a video game. It don't, it don't seem true. It, it don't seem true. Black man, you, stay, you, are, you are staying at home and getting paid for. It's ridiculous, man. What are we living in, the Twilight Zone? Nah, you living in God's world, man. And you'll see, you'll see that you'll see when God brings the coronavirus or God brings something into the world and just one thing, and he can make the world change just like that. Where's the, where's the, where's, where's the, the presidents and, every, and, all, and, and all the, all the uh, prime ministers and say, you know what? Stay home. Over there in Europe, they stop, they stopping people from paying their own damn mortgage, man. They said, nah, it's shut down. Thank God is making things free. <laughs> right. Things are free right now because of the coronavirus, man. Right. Give God a hand. Right. Things are free right now. And guess what? It's only going to get worse. And, and even, even, though we, even though we're having a good time right now, black man, you got to see that, that this, right now we are living in the last days. These are the last days. The world is about to end. And, and what, do, what do I mean by the world is about to, get, about to end? You gotta understand that world means age or society. It don't mean the earth, it don't mean the globe, that planet earth is going to explode. The planet earth, the earth, the Bible says the earth abides forever. The earth is gonna be here, it's not gonna explode. But the society is going to end. Get just, just like what? Just like Egypt ended, Egypt fell. Just like Greek, Greece, it fell. Just like Rome, Rome fell. America's baby wrong. And spiritually, Egypt is all Gomorrah. And America's going to fall. But guess what? There's going to be a new civilization. There's going to be a new kingdom. And black man, that's going to be your kingdom, man. I know black man named Christ. So you got to understand, anything that God brings on this earth, don't be afraid of it, man. Just make sure you, just make sure you have God's favor by obeying him. That's and right. being obedient to him, man. That's right. Anything you see, you see an earthquake happening, coronavirus, see an end of the Even if you see some, even if you see zombies, you see white people walking around with green face and they walking around, uh, uh, listen, thank you, brother. God is doing it. That's right. And don't you fear it, man. All you need to do is fear God and you'll be safe, man. Let's get the scripture. Give me, um, Go ahead. Give me, give me, give me Psalms 83 and 3. Psalms 83 verse 3. America, you deserve all the disease and all the sicknesses 
for the crimes you have committed against the Latinos. You have children, you have, you have innocent Latino children in a, on the borders of, of Mexico living in cages like they're animals, man. You are killing, you, you have killed, you are kill, killing innocent black, black men and black women, man. Listen, you, know, you listen. You deserve everything that's coming to you, America. And we pray that more is to come. We pray. We pray that if every firstborn of our enemies pass away, like God did in Egypt, man. Just like God killed every firstborn in Egypt, we pray it happens in America, man. And you solely deserve it. America, you are you are not a, a, a kind people. You are not a good people. Right. You are evil to black people. That's you are right. evil to Latino people. That's right. Let God bring the spirit of death to America like you brought through Egypt, man. And let you wake up at night screaming because your firstborn is dead. Just like our black women crying in, in the middle of the streets holding their sons when they bleeding out to death from a shot from a racist cop, man. Go ahead. Psalms chapter 83 verse 3. They have taken crafting counsel. And you, they, who is they? They are taking crafting counsel. The, 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 the people who are, who, are, who are taking crafting counsel is the white man, the Africans, the Hamites, and the Asians. The, the, one, the, the one that God put the corona on, them, them slanty eyed bastards, man. So stupid and retarded, you're going to eat a bat. A bat don't even look edible. But you're such an idiot, and you're, and you're such a, pe a stupid people, you will eat any damn thing. Anything, man. And now you're sick. You eating a bat and eating snake, and there you go. You got coronavirus. Good job, stupid. Good job. And now, and now, and now, look what happened. They're spreading all through the earth, and God is doing it. But if, if you are a smart people, you will know that God has a dietary law. But you don't know that, man. Go ahead, read on. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel. Why, 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 why do you think that Asians are in the black community, man? They are, they, they selling our black women weave, they're doing our black women nails, and, they, and we are eating their um, General Toast chicken, their steak and cheese, their fried chicken, like our woman can't cook better than that. They are taking crafty, they are, they are getting rich off of us, man. The white man, he is getting rich off of us. The white man put, has put the Asians and these uh, heathens in our community, man. And they're making, they're making money off of us. And they hate us and they kill us. They have taken crafty counsel against black people, man. That's us go in. And consulted against my hidden ones. And who was thy hidden ones? God, people, God, man. We are the chosen children of Israel. We the hidden ones, man. And, and guess what? The white, the America is at war. America, the Chinese, and the Africans are at war with black people in every, way, in every which way, man. They're trying, to, they're, trying to, they're trying to turn our black women against us. They're trying to have her, have her fight us in child support court. They're trying to fight us with race, they're trying to profile us and get a racist cops hunting our steps, man. They're trying to put drugs in our community and then lock us up for the drugs when it's the white man's drugs. They are at war with us and they take, and they take crafty counsel, man. And because they're doing this, we gotta understand in the book of Psalms that the Israelites prayed, we prayed against our enemies. Right now in Psalms 80, 83, uh, 83 and 3, I am reading a prayer against our enemies. Guess what? Tomorrow, guess what? On Sunday, you don't learn this on Sunday. You don't learn this, you don't learn this in Sunday church. And Sunday church, let me tell you, God loves everybody. But if they're reading Psalms, they'll read this. Go ahead and drop down. Read on. Verse 4. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Right. The white man and the Asians want to cut, them, cut us off from being a nation, man. That's why they're in our neighborhood. That's why they, that's why they beat our woman over their head. And that's why they take our money. Drop down to 15. Let's read the prayer against our enemies. Go ahead. Verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest. Persecute them with thy tempest, man. Let, let God be burned up in anger and kill our enemies. Read on. That's a prayer in Psalms 83. You will never learn to pray a prayer like that in church. You will learn how to pray over, pray over ham, a slice of ham at church. You will never learn how to pray against your oppressor. And that's what the Bible wants you to do, man. Right. Go ahead. And make them afraid with thy storm. And make them afraid with thy storm. Woo, that corona is a, is a storm spreading through America, man. The earthquakes and the tornadoes 
Read that again, that storm. Read that again. Make them what? Make them afraid with that storm. You want to see fear? Right now we're in downtown D.C. Look down the street. I have never seen Chinatown so empty, man. Look to your left. Look to your right. Now look to your left. Downtown D.C. have never been like this. It is on a Saturday. You know why? Because God shut down the NBA. God, to the windows, to the walls. It's MDSL out here, man. And God did it, man. Give God a hand, man. This is by, this is by, the, this is by the hand of God, man. You gotta understand the power of you gotta understand the power of your God. Read on up. They, they may seek thy name. Oh Lord. Right, man. Oh, go, go to 15, you have 15. Read it again. Verse 15. So prosecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. Make them afraid with thy storm. The reason why Chinatown is so empty is because they are afraid of the coronavirus. They are afraid. God, has, God has, has shaken the whole earth, not just America. You got people over there, you got uh, prime ministers over there in Europe, and people in power in Europe that say, you know what, no. Everything is shut down and quarantined. We don't want any traveling in our country, man. No more, there's no more talk about making America great again. America is sick. America is sick right now, man. And guess what, Italy is sick as hell right now. It's re it, listen, God is doing a number, man. You gotta fear the power. You gotta, you gonna fear, you gonna fear the coronavirus, or you gonna fear the power that brings these sicknesses. You gonna fear the, you gonna fear the power that brings, that brings these plagues, man. Read on. Verse sixteen. Fill their faces with shame. Fill their faces with shame, man. Yes, America needs to be shamed uh, for for their for their vile acts against the black and Latinos, man. You uh, listen. How vile? How vile can a person be? to kill 99 million African American, uh, uh, Negroes, man. How vow can a person be to kill 77 million Native American Indians and Latinos, man? Right now, listen, and they go, they, they, right now, they are walking on the bones. Up under, up under these bricks are the bones of the, of the Native American Indians right now. And they don't give a damn. They're walking around in their green. They celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Tonight, they're gonna get drunk and forget about coronavirus. And you know when white people, when white people get drunk, they like to have orgies and have sex with everybody, just like in the Roman times, because you are nothing but baby Romans, and you're gonna get sick from being drunk tonight and kissing each other, you filthy beast, and I pray that it happens, man. I pray that it happens. God bless America with coronavirus, man. Go ahead. That they may seek their name, O Lord. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Let you be troubled forever. You troubled as hell. You run right now. You you, you run the Walgreens. You run you run the CVS. You run all the grocery stores. It ain't no lights all in there. It ain't no toilet paper. It ain't no toilet tissue in there. White man, you are troubled by the hand of God. You gotta say that God bring these things. And if you want to stop the coronavirus, you'll get back right with God, man. For so long, America, you've been, you've, been, you've been so filthy and so sinful that you're the, the stench of your sin have reached unto God and God is smelling it and he's spreading it down. He's gonna bring down the odor of America with all these plagues, man. Go ahead. Yay, let them be put to shame and perish. Listen, what kind of prayer is that? The, the prayer said, let them be shamed and perish forever. You, listen. Without, listen, the church has done a number on our mentality. We saw we this hell, we saw this hell because we're Christian. But the Bible, is, in Psalms 83, the prayer is saying, let them perish, man. They are praying that their enemy perish. And today we do it just like, our, just like, the, just like the people, our people before, and praying that America perish through the coronavirus and through AIDS and any other virus, any, any other plague that God is gonna curse America with, man. Let you drop dead in the, let you drop dead in the streets like how they're dropping dead over there, over there in China, man. I know you see the videos on Facebook. You got Chinese people waiting for the bus or coming out the train station just falling out on their face. Falling fat, flat on their face. I can't wait to see that here in America, man. And listen, I can't wait to see it because our people deserve to be free. Right. We go through too much hell, man. 
we go through too much hell, and they have no compassion on black on black people. They have no compassion on Latino people, man. How many honest black people try to go out and you work an honest job or try to get an honest job, and you still profiled, you still discriminated against? They hate they hate you because you're damn complexion, man. It's ridiculous, man. And the Lord is gonna punish them for that. The Lord is gonna destroy them with that. We gotta understand right now, this is a taste of the last we, we are living in the last days, but you gotta you got you have to understand the end, you gotta understand the end of the end of the world. The end of the world is the streets going crazy. The, 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 every, the, streets, the streets are going crazy so much that everybody's standing, staying in the house. Once again, look to your left, look to your right. There's people out here, but not as much. Real soon, it'll be real empty, man. Everybody's gonna wanna stay home, stay in the house, and not wanna come out because it's crazy outside. Because it's crazy outside, man. This, this is a taste of the very last days, man. Where you at? What verse you at? Go ahead, read 18, go ahead. That the men may know that thou whose name is alone is Yahweh, of the most high power of the earth. And that was a prayer from Israelites. Israelites, but it, black people before Christianity, they prayed against their enemies, man. And black man, that's what you gotta do. You gotta go back. You, you gotta go back to you gotta go back to your original time and pray against your enemy. You gotta pray against your enemy, man. Go ahead, give me um, give me Leviticus chapter 26 and 21. And black man, you don't have to worry about being afraid of the coronavirus. Listen, now, ra listen, racist, racist, racist cops, racist, the, the white man, his racism is more, more deadly than the coronavirus for black people, man. His age and HIV, which is killing the black community, is more treacherous than the, than the coronavirus, man. We already went through so we went through 400 years of slavery, man. The coronavirus ain't got nothing on that, man. That's what we gotta understand. Where you at? Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 21. And if ye walk contrary unto me, right? If you right, the Lord said, if you if you walk contrary to me, go ahead. And will not hearken unto me. If you do not hearken unto God, listen up, white man. White man, you so arrogant, just like Pharaoh in Egypt. That's why God gotta bring you down with the coronavirus. God gotta bring you down, bring bring down your stock market. Two days ago, your stock market crashed twice and one morning, man. And one day. That's right. That's by God. God did that, man. Won't he do it? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your stock market crashed. Hallelujah. The, the coronavirus is plaguing America because you're a filthy, arrogant beast that deserves to die by the hand of God for the crimes you have committed against, against uh, blacks and Latinos.